Hey guys, it's Paul with RC Phone Fighters. I've got the FF-117s um, back out to the parts to do some testing. I did some minor modifications um, on the 50 millimeter. The only modification I made is I made this little air vent, a cheater hole on the bottom. I 3D printed the grate um, and just cut it out and slided it in. Um, that should help the 50 millimeter breathe better. Um, this one was flying actually I think a little bit better than the 64 millimeter plane before. But I just added it on this plane anyway to hopefully get a little bit more thrust. We're going to throw it in the air and see what happens. Launched pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, we did a bench test with this new... Uh, great on there it did seem like the motor was winding up a little bit better didn't the watts go up a little bit too whole? yeah so it's pretty close to what the motor's rated at is pulling 628 watts and the uh, motor per the manufacturer is rated at 670 watts but you know that's without any obstructions not even in a plane on a test stand with no voltage drop so i think this one's pretty close to uh, where it needs to be you see i'm getting a little bit of Pork roll. I don't know if that's from the wind. Yeah, we do have a side wind over there, so might be the wind blowing a little bit. Yeah, it does feel like it has a little more power. I think. Does it change the change the flight characteristics at all? Or not? Um, not really. Like I said, the only thing I noticed, I got a little bit of torque roll, and I need to take out of it. Not the camera doing it in these crappy so skies. So far, it looks so good, man. <laughs> yeah, this field's a little bit smaller, so we're a little bit more confined in our flying area. That's a little less than half throttle there. That's about a half throttle there. Yeah, these lighting conditions are making it a little harder to tell orientation good thing I have the orange on there otherwise I'd be lost yeah the black planes are the hardest man. <laughs> yeah so I think you know this the 50 millimeter will fly without the cheater hole um, but if you guys want better performance when I do the final plans I'll probably put some indications for the cheater holes on there uh, I know everybody doesn't have a 3d printer so if you don't have a 3d printer you can probably just cut a cheater hole and then put like a screen material or something over it uh, for those that do have a 3d printer i'll put the uh, stl file model on there of what i printed so i think this 50 millimeter is pretty much almost good to go so i should be able to start working on the final plans on this one Yeah, and this is in there's roughly about eight to nine mile an hour winds uh, per the weather report that I looked up online, and I'm sure it is probably about that up high above the tree line. So I can feel it down low here. So looks pretty stable though. For yeah, for a little 50 that, millimeter huh? plane, it's flying pretty good, I think. Then it's nice and quiet. Yeah. Perfect for a park flyer. Hey. Yeah, this lighting is definitely bad. <laughs> it's hard to tell which way it's tilting up there, other than the orange. You out of juice. Yeah, I'm coming in. Oh, water. <laughs> okay. That was a 50 millimeter, guys. Cool. Okay, guys, this is the 64 millimeter version of the plane. On this one, it was definitely lacking um, air to the motor in the last flights we did at Herman Airport. So on this one, I decided to get a little more radical. I added vents on the top. Of the lid and I also added the same size vent on the bottom so it should get a lot more air to the motor and hopefully run better um, I did do a watt meter test on this motor 
and for some reason it isn't pulling anywhere near what the uh, manufacturer rates it at so i'm not sure if this motor's you know not a very good motor it might be a bad uh, edf it's rated at 870 watts when i did the watt meter test on it it was only pulling 650 watts so it might have reduced power and that's um, even with the cheater holes yeah it was even with the cheater holes so um, we're gonna fly it like this to see what happens see if it flies any better um, if it doesn't then i might rip out this motor out of this plane and put a 70 millimeter edf in it i have a dr matt thrust one and another power uh, fun one that we can test out i'll probably if i do that i'll have to you know cut the top of it and uh, put it in but we'll see what happens after this flight all right it's uh, strong enough to power out of the wind huh that was a way better launch than yeah. the one out of herman it didn't dip or anything yeah yeah so for the 64 millimeter like i said i think this motor is definitely down on power um because the little 50 millimeters you know was pulling 620 watts almost the same amount as this motor yeah something don't sound right yeah. there man oh and i did size up the battery for this flight i went from a 2200 milliamp 4s to a 2600 so that should help the voltage drop a little bit you know do you remember what kind of amps you're drawing pull um it was lower than what it's rated out i think it was only 42 amps which is 10 amps lower than what the manufacturer rates it at they rated up 52 amps it does feel a little bit better though i think did it change the flight characteristics though not did really no it's still on the pitch up or down or anything no in the pitch it's not like we did last time <laughs> still not much power for loops so if we can get the motor pulling around 800 watts or more it should fly better i think yeah, that's crazy if the little 50 is pulling close to the same watts yeah. and this one's only... I don't know if I got a bum motor. That or, you know, like me and Frank were talking, maybe the I need to adjust the timing on the ESC. Bump it up. Yeah, this just has a turn to cheap flush, 60 amp ESC, which I never messed with the programming. So it's probably set at mid timing or something like that. But, you know, so far it's flying pretty good though, I think. The cheater holes definitely helped. And they're not super noticeable either. Yeah, once you're in the air. Yeah, should get a little bit longer flight time with the 2600 milliamp battery, hopefully. <laughs> they are only rated 60C. Yeah, well, you said you're only pulling, what, 42 amps? Yeah. That's only about yeah. 20C. That's actually less than 20C. Cool. That's about half the throttle. So I think the cheater holes definitely help the performance. I think if we get a higher rated motor that performs better, it'll definitely wake it up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in, Frank. All right. Nice. Yeah, that's the one thing with the cheater holes, you gotta make sure you shut down the EDF yeah, so it doesn't gonna, suck in everything. It'll get yeah. a bunch of grass. It is kind of like a cheese grater on the bottom, so you still might scoop up some grass. So I just gotta make sure I check it after I land and clean it out. All right, let's take a look inside. Yeah, so it looks like it isn't too bad. I don't think I scooped up too much grass considering I did a long skid landing. So like I said, it's almost like a cheese grater though. So yeah, it doesn't look bad. Yeah, so just make sure you shut down the EDF when you land if you... 
have the cheater hole on the bottom.